Well, hey guys, thanks for joining. My name is Brandon Ayers from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital and Ophthalmic Partners in Pennsylvania. And today I've got my white shirt and my blue shirt on because I want to talk about vision blue. I had a case that went a little bit sideways in the OR the other day, so I wanted to talk a little bit about how we use vision blue in the operating room. That's right, we're gonna be talking about this stuff right here, vision blue or tripan blue. See if I can get that in focus for you. Oh man, it seems like my camera only wants to focus on my face. Let me get a little bit closer for you. There you go. Now the way I see it, and others may see it differently, but there's two basic ways you can use tripan blue in the eye. You can spray it in the eye, kind of like using spray paint, or you can roll it in the eye, kind of like using a paint roller. That was kind of loud. So I wanted to review a couple of the different cases that we've done, each of them using different application techniques for Vision Blue, and I'll show you what happened. It made my life a little bit more difficult the other day. Well, usually Tripan Blue is our friend in the operating room, but every once in a while it makes things complicated. So I think you can place Vision Blue in two different ways. You can spray it in or, or you can roll it in. I've done both ways and I'm not saying that one way is wrong, just sometimes it gets you in trouble. Here's one example, we're using Tripan Blue for a moderately complex cataract and this works very nicely. You're putting the Tripan Blue in the anterior chamber, we'll let it sit for you know, a minute or so and then rinse it out with some, B some BSS or I think in this case I was using uh, sugarcane. And then you can start your excess and it gives you good, good contrast, it works well. You know, another nice way that people will use Tripan Blue is to put it under an air bubble. This helps to concentrate the Tripan blue on the anterior capsule and initially we thought tripan blue may be a little bit toxic to the endothelium but we know that's really not the case anymore. Uh, you'll just then evacuate that air bubble either with a little bit of balanced salt solution or in this case we're using OVD and that works well. And even more fancy is you can put air in the cannula with the tripan blue so you get an air bubble and tripan blue all at once. It's really slick. It's one less thing to do. Uh, still get great contrast. Uh, in this case, we're doing a pediatric cataract with a posterior polar. Um, but every once in a while, you can run into a problem. And that happened to us the other day. We were able to handle it, but still, I think tr by trying to make our life easier, you can see the red reflex wasn't terrible. But we thought, you know, this may become a challenging case. Let's just stain to make sure. And look what happens. After staining with tripan blue, our red reflex is gone. And that's because we ended up staining the vitreous. And so by trying to make this case easier, we really made it difficult for ourselves. When you have this stained vitreous, it is next to impossible to get the red reflex back. And you just can't see anything inside the eye. It's difficult to see cortex. It's difficult to see the anterior rexus. It's difficult to tell if the implant goes in the capsular bag. So a way that you can get around this, if you have access to it, is to use a light pipe inside the eye. So here we were lucky enough to be doing this case with a retina surgeon, so we happen to have a light pipe on the field and it really came to our rescue. I've also run into this scenario a few other times with bad uveitics or patients with vitreous hemorrhage. And one other time we ended up staining the vitreous and I've had to ask for a light pipe to be brought onto the field. But if you can get access to a light pipe, you'll be okay. If not, you'll just have to go really slow and be very careful because it's really difficult to see. So I really like using the paint roller technique because you don't stain the vitreous. And here we're just using tripan blue and painting the anterior capsule underneath OVD. And it works with severe zonulopathy. It works well with white cataracts, it works nicely with traumatic cataracts. You're not going to get nearly as much tripan blue into the posterior segment. You're not going to lose your red reflex and as that white cataract or complex cataract comes out you're going to be able to get your red reflex back again so you can get the lens in the bag and take out the cortical material. So when it comes to the spray it in technique for tripan blue I know it works but in my book I say let's not do this. I'd much rather use the roll technique where I'm rolling it on the anterior capsule that way I know I'm not going to make a complex case even more complex. So paint roller that's what I've been doing. And it works with ICG. So if you have an aneritic or a fragile capsule, the roll-on technique still works. All right, guys. Well, that's my story on Vision Blue. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video and you can apply something that you've learned to your own patients. Once again, I'm Brandon Ayers from the Cornea Service at Wills Eye Hospital and Ophthalmic Partners. Thanks for watching.